What's up, everybody? First of all, our channel passed 200 subscribers this week. A huge thanks to everybody who watches, takes time out of their day to uh, spend a few minutes with me. Today, we're taking you along on an ice fishing trip for shallow water pressured pan fish. We're going to give you a few tips you can use to catch more fish, and we're going to show you some of the weird things these educated fish will do to you. So stay tuned, it's all coming up. <music> All right, we're live from the shanty. It's way before the sun comes up. I'm definitely the first one here. Got the hole that I wanted. Got the new lights going. This is like super amazing. We're gonna try to catch some fish. We're gonna go for big red ears on plastics after the sun comes up, but we got a little couple hours before that happens, so we're gonna fish crappies until then. Let's get going. Oh, the sweet, sweet smell of pecan twirls cooking in my shanty right now is beautiful I don't know can you guys see that oh it so smells so good and we're doing it the fish are in a bad bad mood this morning or this light is scaring them I actually think this clam LED light is scaring the crappies in shallow water comment below what do you think does this LED scare the fish I think it's too shallow and too clear oh my god I had a bite Finally hooked a crappie. Feels like a decent one. He's decent. Finally. Well, we're doing it. Back down the hole he goes. We finally found a biter. See if there's any more. So tip number one is get up and get out there early. Recognize when somebody foolishly makes a Facebook post in a public group, it's gonna cause you a bunch of traffic. So get out earlier than everybody else. Get all your noise making done before prime time. All these guys are setting tip ups during the best 20 minutes of the day. Not a slab, just a little guy. Well, the, the pre-dawn crappies finally started a fire at dawn. Already six million people out there setting tip ups. Fish on. Fish on. Nice red ear. We're on. Feels like a good one. It's not that good. He's going back. Back in the water. This one's going to cream it. What? What kind of bite was that? There we go. Oh my goodness, what is going on? It's a fighter. It's a good bluegill. Alright, we'll put him in the bucket for a little bit later. Oh, it's on, boys. It is on. Please don't go around my deucer. There's another one. Another one bites the dust. These are bluegills. Regular old bluegills. He's got it. I'm not going to keep those today. We're not keeping those. Save the lake. Be selective on your bluegills. Drop back in there and get them while they're hot. I do need to get the plastic out. I do need to get the plastic going. Ooh, there's a hot one. Oh my God. That's a crappie. That's gonna be a crappie every time. Yep. Speculators. Little dinker speculator. All right, we're doing a midday, a little bit of a mid-morning, I'd say. Mid-morning update from the shack. The bluegills are iffy. The crappies are non-existent. The pressure changed the weather changed overnight a lot of people and and uh, these fish are beat up we're picking a few off though we're just starting all right time to close up the shanty and make it dark oh big pike oh big bass get out of here I'm not large mouth fishing there we go we scared him that's a big one Is 
soon as I put this fly on. My intention was to come out and catch them on big jigs and plastics, and that ain't today. So tip number two is to have a bunch of presentations ready to go. You can see I have rods laid out on the ice. I usually have three or four. Try to have contrasting presentations tied on to several of them, whether it's something big and something small, or something bright colored versus something natural colored, shiny color versus flat, something that hangs horizontal versus something that hangs a 45 versus a vertical jig. And most importantly probably is have something that falls fast and have something that falls slow. Fall rate is probably the biggest deal in getting these fish to trigger. So you can see here how this fish comes in and I really should have caught this fish. I don't know if it was a keeper or not, but uh, this fish comes in, takes the bait, misses it, whatever, turns around, makes a U-turn, goes back towards the bottom of the screen and I fished this bait for about 60 more seconds. No other fish showed up. I pull it up and as soon as I drop down the gold jig with the plastic, don't let your jig spin like this, this is horrible. I had some bad line twist if you noticed. But this fish saw it on the way down. He couldn't have been more than, what, six, eight feet away at the most. He's already there. And, and he eats it in fairly short order. So you change baits. They see it coming down. They come in. They get it. They take it. You catch more fish. Change baits. Have more rods ready. There he is, there we go. Got that one. Look at that, buddy. That's what we came to catch right there. There you go. There we go. That's a pretty fish. Look at that sucker. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's killer. Look at how he ate that gold jig too. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, the grind continues. We're gonna keep. What did I catch? What did I even catch that fish on? Brown Mackey. On a gold. Tungsten jig. So tip number three is just to be quiet. Ask to borrow an auger if you have to, if all you have is a spud. Four inches of ice is like the surface of a drum, and when you touch it, it makes noise. So walk softly, limit your noise. On the other hand, if you're 40 yards away from the guy banging on the ice, he drives fish to you like he's driving deer. So I was really surprised, but listen to the sound that my Hero 5 underwater recorded when a guy was spudding, probably... 40, 45 yards away. So tip number four is to troll your bait back and forth across the hole and try to make it look like it's swimming. Uh, sometimes they really like it when you make it look like it's trying to swim away from them. And it looks more natural and it gets, gets some bites, so give it a try. Alright, so my last tip for the day is to let the little ones bite. Sometimes you have to let the little ones bite. Fish see and hear other fish opening their mouth to eat things. They see the gills flash. They hear some kind of pop or tick or something under the, no of the, the gills and mouth opening. And it triggers other fish to look. It triggers other fish to come closer. And sometimes you got to let the little ones bite. Sometimes you accidentally catch them. It's just a hazard of doing it. But if the more you let them peck and bite and open their mouth, the more fish it'll draw to you. So you don't ultimately want to catch them, but you want to let them bite sometimes to draw their fish in. So I got a, I got a few bluegill in there. We got a little bucket going. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. So I got a little morning haul. I'm gonna give them to Bert for a Merry Christmas. And uh, oh, look at this. Bert's got a, Bert's got a crappie. Let me see your bag. Oh, yeah. Little max basket. Cool, cool. All right. Well, this will help you fill out your limit for the day. 
Appreciate it, man. All right, I'm winding up the day here. I think I've almost melted a hole in the ice with my Mr. Buddy this morning. It's been a decent day, nothing like the last two days. Fishing changed in a hurry, weather changed, a lot of people, a lot of pressure. Don't put Facebook posts up about the only ice within 100 miles. It's not good. So that's what happens. What are you going to do? We still caught some good fish today. Still caught a lot of fish. The majority of the crowd left because the bite was really tough. So you just got to grind on it. You sit there and sight fish and stare down the hole and try different baits and lay out a bunch of rods, have a whole bunch of different lures to throw down, and you'll get them big ones to come in. Fish really high, and those big ones will come in. It's more like hunting than it is fishing, I'll be honest. It's just you got you to gotta hunt for them. That's all you got to do. You got to hunt for them. So thanks for taking some time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Until next time. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, I'll holler at you.